Good morning. Thank you for watching. Another beautiful Lord's Day. Looks like we're going to get a little bit of rain that we uh, could probably do without, but the Lord knows best. He knows better than I do. Um, we got uh, our sick list to get to. We got Garl Fugit, Way Candy Corn, uh, Melissa Bogle, Mary Mason, Hillary Davenport, Lee Heath, uh, Clint Blanton, Jeannie Thomas, uh, Terry Parham, Patricia Walmart, um, Taylor Blanton, Ma Marilyn Medley, Lamar Sism, Becky and Lonnie Barks, Pat Burks, uh, Judge Janine. And we need to say an extra prayer for Benny Blair. He's been pretty sick this week. So uh, pray for him and all these other folks too. They, they, uh, they all need our prayers. Uh, this week's little, little lesson is going to be a peaceful heart. Uh, if you think about that, don't that sound beautiful? A peaceful heart. Um, I don't know that many people have one. Uh, a lot of people uh, have a troubled heart these days, uh, and that's sad. Uh, we need to uh, examine ourselves and, and see why that is, see why we have a troubled heart. Uh, if it's, it's kind of easy to see if you're looking at the news every night. Uh, it's, a, it's a troublesome time. It's a worrisome time. But, uh, you know, uh, we, we'll get it work and we'll be talking about uh, how bad things are and things that's going wrong. And uh, somebody will no doubt always say, you know what, the Lord is still in charge. Uh, and the, the folks that are doing bad, they're going to have to pay for that. Uh, they won't get away with it. Uh, so, you know, we should have a peaceful heart just knowing that uh, God is still in charge. But we, let me go through my little lesson here. And it says, sometimes uh, circumstances trigger our anxiety, but other times it's just the inner turmoil we wrestle. Regardless of the source, uh, our turmoil is no match for God's peace, which uh, surpasses all comprehension. That's in Philippians 4, 7. So when you're feeling anxious, just remember, God made you on purpose. Uh, you know, uh, it says, I think, in, uh, uh, maybe in Psalms, it says uh, that God knew, uh, knitted us together in our mother's womb, you know. He knew us before we were born. So God made you on purpose. Our Father uh, chose the time and place we, we each would be born, uh, and he gave us our personality and talents and our spiritual gifts. Um, so consider what God has chosen, especially for you, and give thanks. Okay, and it tells us in Acts 17, verse 26. Uh, let's see. Acts 17, verse 26. From one man, he has made you every nationality to live over the whole earth and has determined their appointed times and their boundaries of which they live. So God has appointed us to be born at a certain time, and he's also appointed us the time to die. Uh, we don't know exactly what time that is, but... God has appointed all that to us, and uh, and He knows uh, what kind of life we're going to have and where we're going to live. God has a plan for your life. S uh, scripture promises that embracing the Father's specific path of your life will bring satisfaction and peace. <clears throat> That's in Proverbs 3, and 5, and 6. Uh, God adopts uh, believers into His family. Once you belong to him, nothing can change the fact that you are his. And that's John 10, 28. God forgives when you confess. Some feelings of inner turmoil come from guilt or shame over, over wrongdoing. But when you confess your sin and, <coughs> excuse me, and change direction, God forgives you. Then your conscience can become clear. <clears throat> That's in 1 John 1, 9. Uh, peace is within the reach when you remember your identity in Christ. Next time you're feeling anxious, 
pause for a moment and pray and meditate over these four truths. Making, uh, taking your eyes off of yourself and fixing them on Jesus would help, even if it's necessary to repeat the process periodically. So we've got, we need to take our mind off, off of ourselves. <coughs> Excuse me. We need to take our mind off of ourselves and focus on, on Jesus and pray and meditate about all of these things that, that he said to us. Uh, God has a plan for us. He has a, uh, he takes us into his family. He forgives us when, when we do wrong. Uh, you just have to confess your sins, uh, and <clears throat> maybe that would would uh, be a good way for us to have a peaceful heart. Uh, you know, when you're sometimes when I am uh, uh, troubled about things, you know, I get to thinking about stuff like that, and it's always good to just pray and get that, all that stuff out of your head. And you know, I, I've I've read before that. 90% uh, of what you worry about will never happen. So you, we've got to get all that, all that foolishness out of our head and keep on going and, and do good, do what the Lord has to, for us to do and uh, read the Bible and study to so, show yourself approved. That's how we get closer to God. The more Bible we've got in our heart, the less room we have uh, for the bad stuff to get in. So think about that. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, get out today, and if it's not too bad, and enjoy the day. This is the day that the Lord has made for us, whether it's raining or whether it's pretty. Uh, God made a, a world for us, and right now, springtime, everything's blooming out. And it's a wonderful time. Um, so get out and see some of the countryside and, and do some good today. Uh, we'd like for you to pray for our servicemen and women, our first responders, and all the doctors and nurses that take care of us and keep us safe and healthy. Uh, so pray for all those folks, and please remember all the folks on our, on our sick list. Uh, seems like we get more every time. Uh, but that's about it. Thank you very much. God bless. See you next time.